What's up guys, I'm Filter. Welcome back to a new video. So today's video is finally another replay review, which I'm really, really far behind on your replay reviews. I have a lot, like you guys have sent me tons of them and I wasn't able to get to them because there was a lot of new content with new um, test servers and things coming out. And also, I didn't have a working microphone for like two weeks, so obviously that put me quite far behind. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of you guys' replays, but I'm not sure how many of them I will still be able to get to. Um, keep submitting them though, you know, there's still a chance I'll be able to get to your replay, especially if there's like something crazy happening in the replay, or if I think it's a really good um, potential learning experience, or if it's just like an awesome crazy replay. Um, so I took this replay from Rumbar, I think, Rumbar? I don't know how to pronounce your name correctly so uh, forgive me i'm pretty sure it's an eu server he's an omni i think that's an eu clan um, but yeah this is a tier 10 light tank and i don't really have any content on tier 10 light tanks um, i haven't ground any yet as of myself um, but this is an amx uh, 13105 which is the tier 10 uh, french light tank um, so i picked this replay because i knew it was going to be good because it's proc and yeah light tanks thrive on proc you can see his clip time is much faster than a bat chat so he's able to get up here and put two shots into the, um, the IS-3 there. Not able to hit the RU-251. I think he probably would have gotten away with shooting the IS-3 one more time, but there is still the risk that he would have been shot potentially by the RU or someone on the one line if he stayed around for too long. But this is actually... Um, oh, he spotted the HWK. That's actually really, really good. Um, spotted the HWK early. He should go down, which will be a lot of assisted damage if he does. Yep, there he goes, 1100. Uh, assisted damage right off the bat, and it's really useful because it obviously helps his 1-2 um, line allies not get outlit by that guy. Um, he does have a T-49 on that line, but, you know, there's no guarantee the T-49 will light everything or be able to dig out an HWK that's in a passive bush. Um, so yeah, this kind of matchmaking as a tier 10 actually allows him to do damage as well spotting. Uh, were, he's, were he in a tier 10 game, he could um, still be spotting the mid or he could go on a passive one line. But it's unlikely he'll be able to do as much damage. But this this allows him to do actually quite a lot of ass assisted damage, excuse me. Uh, as well as the actual pure damage that the light tank is actually capable of doing. Um, only has three shots, but it does reload overall pretty quickly. So, yeah. Um, and it's very, very quick. So you can flex around the map very fast. And he's already done 1,000 damage and has 1,100 assisted. What is he doing? Uh, I'm not really sure what the RU251 was doing. Um, but Brumber doesn't really care. So, yeah, he's um, just going to be able to spot the mid for the duration. Um, there's a lot he can do here, actually, because if he if he, he can move so far over the mid, that guy should go down to assist or one of his allies, maybe. Ooh, I'm not able to kill the IS-3. Uh, maybe the T-49 will with his stupid derpy gun. Um, yeah, there you go. But regardless, uh, he, he should be able to get some damage on the zero line, but... Um, Actually, he doesn't need to worry about that because there's actually a, quite a hefty push by the enemy team on the one line. So he's able to get all those shots into that 416. That gets rid of the 416, which is actually pretty good because the 416 is actually... I think it's the highest level of camo of all the, uh, the tier 8 mediums. So he also um, got even more assisted damage there on the ISU 152 that he lit. Uh, and he's also trying to put damage into this Type 4, so... He's probably going to start sharing a little bit of assisted with his T49 on his team. I'm pretty sure both of them can see this uh, Type 4. He's able to do a lot of damage into the side of the Type 4 Heavy, which is really nice. And so as you can see so far, this has actually been a really fast-paced battle. And he's already done a 3,000 damage and 3,300 assisted damage. This E3 is really aggro. And I think after he clips, he could probably go on the E3 safely, I think. Um, as long as he keeps a relative good speed up, um, the Type 4 will really struggle to hit with that derp gun, so... Although, if he does hit, that would really suck. There you go, it's just easy auto-aim, and he can focus on his driving, because, you know, he's going to hit them. So, oh, that's unlucky, though. Uh, only two shots he probably should have been able to get three, but it got a little bit unlucky there. Um, but you can see just how quickly he's going to reload. It says, right after he had, you know, dumped the clip, reloading 22 seconds. I'm not sure what the overall reload actually is on the tank. I think it's like 24 or something. Can't really remember. Someone can put it in the comments section because I haven't actually played this tank in a really long time. Uh, but it is a very quick overall reload uh, compared to the bat shot, which is much, much longer. So you do, you know, sort of have a clip up. You have something to do, basically. Now he's just going to get the finishing kill on the E3 there to give himself 4,500 damage. Um, I do wonder whether he's going to move more down the 1-2 line now. There isn't that many enemies left, or if he's going to go and see if he can snipe anything on the hill. He kind of does have a lot of options here um, in terms of what he can do. So it looks like he's going to 
maybe look for the one two line no he's gonna go over um so yeah i guess he's gonna look see if he can detect anything he got lit there which is interesting not sure what it was that lit him perhaps their light tank they only have one more oh no they do actually have two remaining because that's a wz i think at the top there at two ten uh my microphone's a little bit in the way of the team listing so i'm trying to duck and dive and see it uh but regardless i think um I think he should be okay to actually flex over and do a bit of damage to the middle. Oh, he's actually now spotted the WZ. So, yeah, he has to be careful. Um, but he can't really go on him and unless he doesn't get shot from the 1-2 line. But I think it's too risky for him to go for him. And he does now have shots on the hill, which I was expecting he would have pretty soon. Um, unlucky that he missed his first shot in the WT. But uh, he was able to get it in the end, so that's okay. And this guy's tracked, so that should be an easy kill. Yep, there we go. Uh, he's going to reload now. He's almost at 5,000 damage, so... This is actually one of the faster-paced proc games I've seen in quite a while. Um, but it really is easy to dominate these sort of games as a light tank. Uh, as you can see, he's played it really well. Uh, he's done exactly everything he needs to do. He spotted the mid as an active spotter. He's detected and defeated an enemy light tank trying to go to the 1-2 line, which these tier 10 light tanks do a really good job at, which is why getting that passive bush that people like on the 1-2 line, or, well, it's just, it's like just one line, um, is much harder to do these days than it ever used to be in the past. See if he can get the kill. Oh, he perhaps should have snapped that shot because he was going to reload anyway. Um, but that's okay, you know, uh, he's taken out, so that's that's fine. He got the assisted as well. Um, I think now he's going to go and look for some shots on the WZ. He doesn't want to commit because obviously he doesn't have enough damage to actually kill him. But um, if he's stationary and the WZ is moving, the WZ will have a really hard time hitting him. So uh, a little unfortunate there, but that's okay. Um, he was able to get one shot. At, punished a little bit by the Lorraine, who looks like he's on the rails, perhaps? Uh, yeah, he's pinging him over by K7. I think he might be on the rails. Um, he has a Type 4 Heavy backing him up now. So uh, Once he's reloaded, he could go really ham on this this uh, WZ. Uh, the Lightweight might spot the Lorraine. Oh, uh, yeah, the Lorraine has gone absolutely ham running away. <laughs> the 261 as well uh, running away. So he should be able to get some shots into the, the Lorraine. Hopefully get some all. Yeah, there we go. And into the 261 as well. Very nice. So 6,000 damage. And 4,500 assisted so far. So, yeah, if this is going for a mark of excellence, which I think if I remember looking at the after battle stats, he gets his second mark from this game, um, then that would be really helpful. I think he did actually send me another email with um, a, a set of games to his third mark. So I think he has three marked this tank. So I don't know if you guys are interested. Maybe I could look at that as well. Um, oh my god. A little bit overkill, but it's always cool to see an Amarek. So yeah, this has actually been a really, really nice battle. He's it's very, very fast-paced proc, but a lot of that is because he's able to drive the game forward with a light tank. Um, you know, as you're playing a heavy tank on this map, you basically have to rely on allies to do things for you, which is never ideal anyway, but he's been able to actually sort of direct the game, so to speak, and, and been able to drive it forward and, and keep the pace up. So, uh, yeah, hopefully he's able to get some damage on this AMX. He's swerving a little bit, but he stopped there, so that's one nice shot. He's going to swerve. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew right before he shot that 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 was going to happen. Um, I'm not sure if he will be able to get the remaining damage on this AMX 1390. I think he'll probably go down, perhaps? Unless people are really bad at aiming, which it looks like they are. So he's... <laughs> no one can hit this AMX 1390. All right. Oh, uh, let's see if he can get him right before he gets to the artillery. Um, the AMX should go to the side of the artillery, but he's gonna ram him head on. What? <laughs> what a shot! That's pretty epic, actually. That would look great in slow mo. Um, and the T92 just pushes him right over. So yeah, really nice game. 6,700 damage and uh, 4,700. And 76 assisted damage. So, yeah, a really nice game to Brumber. Um, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. You also got seven kills. That's pretty awesome as well. So, a really, really nice game. And it does actually show the strength of the light tanks in these kind of match matches. Um, it would be interesting to see one do really well on a you know a heavy city map with a tier 10 game, though. But uh, he made the best of his situation and, and did very, very well.